and I'm going to show you with some plastic buckets how to duplicate the Berkey system. Welcome back to Grid Down Prepping at Guns America Digest. If you haven't subscribed to Guns America Digest, you should do so at gunsamerica.com slash digest. Usually the articles that go along with these videos have a lot more details and they will also have product links. Today I'm going to cover my probably my most common question is water and I'm going to do quite a few of water articles and water videos um, because you have the issues of collecting water, storing water, carrying water and today we're going to do filtering water and if you look at the Prepping 101 archives at gunsamerica.com slash digest you will find the Prepping 101 um, things and there's a there's the archives there have a lot of a lot of stuff on water in them and you'll see what my take on water is in general um, unless you're willing to set up cisterns and catch rainwater and all that stuff water is kind of dubious um, storing enough of it to matter is is difficult and I mean you might store a couple months worth of water but storing water without a grid to back you up, especially if you're on city water right now, um, tough, really tough situation. Um, in Florida, we're on nuclear power, so the, the last thing that's going to go out here is the electricity, I would say, because they want to keep making money. So if the electricity stays on, we'll have water if we're on city water. Um, I have a place that has a well. Um, and I can, I can hand pump out of my well with a pitcher pump. And on the Prepping 101 archives, you'll see my article on pitcher pumps. And that pitcher pump that I installed at the top of that well is still there today. And every time I'm there, I pump it a couple times so that the leather doesn't dry out. It's still going strong. Um, filtering water is probably the most misunderstood of all the water issues. I get questions on it all the time, and the truth is, there's no real truth on filtering water. There is so much misinformation out there put out by the water filtration companies, by the municipalities with filtering their own water, by Brita, by all, all of those, those things. They, they don't really address what water filtration really is and how effective it is. Most water filters are going to filter out your common pathogens, call them, all right? Viruses, bacteria, anything that is 0.5 microns or below, even a, a 5 micron filter is going to get most things. Um, but these, these guys that I'm going to show you are a lot more effective. And they're just, they're, they're just a much better choice. Now, you have um, reverse osmosis as well. A couple of you guys commented a couple weeks because my parts per million in my, in my RO system was higher than it should have been. Why? Because it's the same thing. RO systems are just a sales pitch that we have to believe or not believe. And yeah, I will change my filters again in it, and then I will test the, the parts per million. Maybe I'll do a video on that, but um, the, the under sink, these under sink RO systems are great, except that they waste 90% of the water that is filtered. Nine, you have to have a, a drain on them because most of the water that, get, that, that they attempt to press through the membrane gets wasted. It doesn't make it through the membrane, and 80 to 90% of it goes down your drain. So if you're living on rainwater, that kind of thing, you just don't want to deal with it. Now, my rainwater here, even with all the aluminum from the spraying, only had 10 parts per million. Whereas my tap water here has 155 parts per million, which is probably salts and the fluoride that they put in and all that kind of stuff. Um, maybe not harmful, maybe not harmful. Um, you can be the judge of that. But my rainwater here was pretty clean. So, and that was right off the, right off the roof. So uh, a rain, I'm, go, I'm gonna shortly do a rainwater collection system and show you all the little bits and pieces of how you collect rainwater from gutters. Getting gutters on your house would be a first start. If you're just thinking about it, go get gutters on your house. 
because without gutters, you're dead in the water anyway. The rest of it is really irrelevant except the containers to put the water in. Um, it's all just luxury compared to that. But, but filtering, the filter that I'm kind of featuring today is the Just Water Filter. And the Just Water Filter is a silver impregnated filter that has carbon in the middle. And this is a gravity filter. Um, and for an off-grid situation, you can hear that it shakes. Put it near the microphone. Um, there's carbon in here. The, 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 in an off-grid situation, you pretty much have to rely on a gravity system instead of a pressure system. Unless when you collect your rainwater, even if you collect your rainwater, you're still gonna you're still gonna be relying on gravity. It just so happens that every four feet or so you get like a pound and a half of pressure if you collect your rainwater and leave it up high. Um, but for the most part you're gonna be doing gravity filters. Now the just water filter is I found these many, many years ago. I did an article on the original Prepping 101 on them. Um, and they have not been available to the public for a long time. These, these go to um, relief organizations in Africa and South America. Like, this is the filter, the OEM filter, that is pretty much used in the third world worldwide. This is what they distribute. It's called Just Water. I think it's justwater.me is the information page. And you can, you can check it out. The, 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 the Star and Bullock hardware that I linked to in these articles they're carrying these. They became a retailer at my request, of course. Um, it's sbhardware.com. And they're pricey there. I think they're over $50 each. Um, and they're, 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 they're different than every other filter out there. And that includes the Berkey filters and all of the other very, very high-priced, overpriced stuff. The Berkey system is like two or $300. And I'm going to show you with some plastic buckets how to duplicate the Berkey system with a filter that actually tells you their numbers of how many, you know, what micron they are, what they filter out, what they may filter out, like fluoride. Um, it may filter most of the fluoride out, but probably not. Um, they tell you these things. They tell you how many microns this filter is, and then it's impregnated with silver, and then it's got carbon in the middle. Berkey does not. Go on Berkey's website. Try to find any of that stuff. None of it is there. That's why all these prepper channels that sell Berkeys, all of the truthers that are taking money from Berkey, I don't know, good luck, all right? That's all I can tell you is good luck. I don't trust anything that, 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 that anyone who hides behind hides behind fancy websites and, and affiliate programs, I don't trust them. Kit comes in a clean white box like so. Um, it doesn't say anything on it whatsoever. And the filter comes with its sock, like so. And that's the filter itself. And the, the sock is a pre-filter, so that you can, you can clean your filter less because the heavier particulate will come out first. And it also comes with a spigot, which you are going to mount on your bucket. So to make your bucket, all right, to make your bucket system, you need this. You unscrew the you unscrew from the bottom. It's it's a little counterintuitive, so I'm going to show you how it works. All right. You unscrew this guy, and your this goes inside the bucket. Okay. Now you take your first bucket out of two buckets. Now I got these buckets at Walmart for five bucks each. Well, uh, plastic buckets are a little hard to come by now. Harbor Freight has them for the same thing, five bucks, but I don't think Harbor Freight has lids. Walmart has lids also for like $1.29 each, $1.89 each, something like that. And you want two lids. So your first bucket, this is your top bucket, all right? You're gonna drill a half inch hole with a, with a hole saw. regular old half inch hole, okay? The filter goes down in it. All right, I'm gonna actually put its sock on first.
the filter goes down in there. And then you screw on the cap. And just tighten it up. So this is your top gravity bucket. Okay? Tighten it nice and tight so it doesn't leak out. And this is where you put the dirty water. For the second bucket, you're going to need another hole saw, a three quarter inch hole saw, because you don't put a hole in the bottom of the bucket. Don't do that. What you want to do is put a hole in the side of the bucket for your spigot. The spigot comes with three parts. The spigot, the nut, and two washers, two rubber washers. Now, they have like a, a convex kind of look to them, and I'm going to assume that the flat parts go on the outside. So then you just, you drill your three quarter inch hole in the side of the bucket, fairly low, but enough that the, enough that the, that the, that the spigot isn't going to, isn't going to hit. Okay, so you want to put it about, about yay there, I'd say. Fairly simple, right? And then you push your spigot in like so. Then put your second washer on the inside. Snug it right up in there by screwing it, screwing it on there. It makes sense to me that the that the the smaller diameter would be made to squish itself into the sides of the hole. That makes, that's what makes sense to me. And it does look, from this, it looks correct. To use this, you really just pour the water in the top. And I'll show you my methodology for gravity filters, is to put the water in another container to let it sit for a while that's going to filter down just from just from gravity itself all the heavy particulate is going to fall into the bottom and then when you fill up your when you fill up i just i just happen to have put some in this cooler a while ago so when you when you fill up your 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 water that you hope to drink it's going to pretty much stay on the bottom and you won't have to See, I'm going to leave some in there. See, so all of my my heavier particulate is in the is in the um, in the bottom there. Not real drinkable right now. All right, so I'm going to leave this overnight, and we will see tomorrow how much we have how much we have accumulated. Now, overnight, I don't know how long it took, but the as you can see, the, the sediment is still in the bottom of the thing, and the sock has, has a bit of debris on it, and the ball is yellow, because the water was yellow. So that yellow water um, no longer is yellow in the bottom bucket, but it's, uh, you know, it's drinkable. And I don't know if it was drinkable before, but now it's drinkable. The water itself has plastic flex in it because I never thought to, to take them out, but you can see the water still has a bit of a tint to it. I think that's my local tap water would have that too. But that's about as good as you're going to get, and for sure, knowing that it went through that filter, it is drink. Now the filter that you could see has the yellow film, um, that you, can, you, wouldn't, you would not scratch that off now. But if you saw that your throughput was reducing, you take like a green scrubby, don't use sandpaper. Use like a green scrubby or, or some very light scrubby just to lightly scrub the outside off. That's gonna give you the longest life for your filter. I have to admit that I was completely shocked when the guy from Just Water told me that there were copies of these filters out there these days. Um, and, and, and the copies are fine, you know, they're just not, they're, they're, they're just not quite up to the same spec as this. Like I said, you can shake this and you'll hear the carbon in it, 
which is is actually pretty in, important if you're if you have chlorine water or anything like that, or you're worried about fluoride or, or the the. Here we have uh, we have septics, so the groundwater here has a lot of um, prescription drugs in it, birth control pills, which tend to not break down. Some blood pressure pills don't break down, so for 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 you know local water the 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 carbon inside of it the treated carbon it's not just carbon it's like it's a special treated thing it's on their their safety data sheet if you read it from their website of what's in there um i, I was shocked to find that 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 there were that there were exact looking copies but the copies don't have the stuff in the middle and they're not the 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 um, the ceramic itself, they claim is impregnated with silver, but I don't really, you know, I, I just don't trust that. I don't I don't trust companies that don't have, you know, that don't have verifiable stuff up there and product sa safety data sheets and all that kind of stuff. I'm just not buying it. I just don't really. I don't. I don't. Even though I I know that the that the ceramic is the main filter here, and that the cheaper filters are you know they they are going to filter your water because clearly they are ceramic. They work the same way. They're a copy of this filter. They don't have the internal stuff. They don't have the silver probably, and whatever you know I I don't know about the porous you know the pore size or anything like that. It's just for for something as important as water, I think that. Um, it's a better idea to use the, the slightly more expensive, but last for years, you know, one filter lasts for years filter. We'll see you next time.